Hey guys, and welcome to the video here today. This is going to be kind of quick. It's just an overview of this new and impressive PS3 tool set that was just released. This is not a tutorial. It's just, again, kind of an overview. So you get an idea of what this is and kind of how it works. But again, it's pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and get started first. This can be used on any PS3, which is a huge plus. You can use it either on official firmware, hybrid firmware, custom firmware, as long as it's on 482 or higher, up to 485, you can run it on any of those three types of firmwares. It's browser based, so there's nothing for you to install, but your PS3 does obviously have to be connected online. There is a way where you can flash your PS3 using this and make it ready to accept custom firmware and then install custom firmware, but it only works on those PS3s that are capable of being fully jailbroken. The ones that can take only hen, right now there isn't a way to um, use this tool to be able to install hen but it seems like they are working on it. They're also working on a file manager to add to it later on. But in addition to that, make sure if you do plan on using it, that you read here the requirements because you need to have things like JavaScript cookies and Flash plugin enabled. And there's some caveats with the Flash plugin. So make sure you read this section very carefully. That's something I'll probably cover when I do uh, the tutorials later on. So you can come here, make sure you look at all of these tabs. Here are the requirements and features, some more of the requirements right there. A uh, quick overview is uh, listed right here. Let's go to the user land tools included next. And you can see here um, some of what's included. Now, some of these things work only with PS3s that are on full custom firmware. And like in this case, this here is meant really mostly for research and development. So it's meant mostly for devs. So you guys really don't have to worry about that too much. Here's the flash memory manager, a uh, logs tool. Let's head on over to tool set functionality. And here you get a wealth of information the PS3's firmware, whether it's on Kex or Dex, if you have, you know, custom firmware installed, if you have Cobra running, it'll let you know, if you have Mamba running, it lets you know. It also tells you whether your PS3 is a NOR or a NAND. It gives you your console ID, tells you the minimum firmware that this PS3 is capable of. So if it is a PS3 that can be fully jailbroken, I believe you get the green check mark. If it's not, and it's not capable of being fully jailbroken, then I believe you get an X. Um, that's something, again, I'll have to check out during the tutorials. And uh, yeah, you just get a legend here that tells you what all of that stuff is. The flash dumper uh, feature, which allows you to just do a, a dump of your bios, which you should do before you install hen or custom firmware. So that way you have a nice clean dump and you can always put it back into your PS3 if you you know make a mistake and whatnot. Of course, you'll need hardware to do that. Um, here we have the Flash Writer tool, which is what will allow you to set up your PS3 so it can take custom firmware, which is really convenient. Um, we'll explore that more in the tutorials, user land memory editor, and um, there's even a way to change the themes of this tool set, which is cool. And you can always make donations to the developers here. So again, a pretty impressive set of uh, PS3 tools. My t biggest takeaway from here and the things that I like the most is just the fact that you can display whether it's a NOR or an AND, your console ID, the minimum firmware. It can tell you whether the PS3 is um, custom firmware capable or not. And the fact that you can actually flash the custom firmware or get it ready 
um, to take custom firmware from here. Those few things just makes this worth its weight in gold, at least for me. So if they add the hen ability later on, if they add a file manager, that's just even more icing on the cake. I really like what they've done here. The polish is really good. Uh, it just looks top notch. So yeah, it's commendable what they've done here plus making homebrews that have a benefit like this for the PS3 still in 2020, that's absolutely great. And that's gonna do it for today, guys. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on with the Switch and there's a lot of videos I wanna do regarding that, especially since it's a more up-to-date console and it's also current, but I definitely don't want to abandon the PS3. So if you guys do want to see those tutorials, especially sooner than later, just smash that like button, man. And uh, I will do them, but I'll try and get to them as soon as possible, especially if I see there's a lot of interest. So let me know in the comments, let me know in the likes or whatever. Thanks again for watching. Much love going out there to everybody. Be careful out there, guys. Also be safe, but make sure you have fun and we will see you on the next one.